is my first satsang. <gasps> You have a picture of a couple of men on the table beside you. Aye. Who are they? Okay, good, good, good. This one. This is a photograph of my master, Sri Punjaji Papaji. And this is a photograph of Sri Ramana Maharshi, who is the guru of him, the master of him. What is a guru? A guru is like uh, a human being who has realized their original nature and has transcended the influence of the ego and the mind. Is this possible in a human? It is totally, totally, totally possible. It is totally, totally, totally possible, and this is why I'm here. What are you saying? I am saying that if I felt it was not possible, that in sharings like this, that you will come to irrefutable clarity and doubtlessness, that you cannot be anything other than what I am pointing at. If it was even a doubt in me that it was not possible that through the sharing you could come to see this, I would not bother coming here. I would not bother, I would not think of coming here or anywhere else if I felt it was not possible to come, and in sharing like this, that you would see, that you would see, that you are not your conditioning, you are not your education, you are not what you've been thinking you are, that you are that itself which is timeless, indestructible, undying, eternal, pure and free, if I didn't feel that it is possible for you to see this like I see it and I am, I would not come here. I know it is possible to see it. Yes. Is it possible to live it? No. There is nobody who can live it. There is no one who can live it, because in the seeing of it, there is nobody there to live it. And this is freedom. If there was someone there to live it, you would know mostly failure. The sense of the doership in us is mostly a failing device. See that this device is not true, it's a fraud, it's not real, reject it completely, and what remains is that which is effortless. It is not living it. It simply is. It does not have to remember how to be this, how to stay like this. This is the common misconception which leads to so much suffering and a sense of failure. Why is it so uncommon to have people like this? This is my question. <laughs> because what I see in you is this. My question and quest is to find out why don't you see this, what I see. Thank you. Very great. Sixteen years ago, and I think he was in Boston, in the United States. No? So this gentleman has come. He asked some questions, which uh, people might say, "Yes, I never, I, I never asked this question." So I find it refreshing, you know, mm -hmm. looking back now, over these years. But what was different now? What I shared with him is still true. But what is different about now? Sixteen years later is that you can see that he seemed to have completed his questions, and he's risen up to leave. Now I would have said to him, now that I have answered your questions, no? where are you going? Why would you leave now? 
You gave questions, I gave answers. Now something is missing. You cannot leave now. Now take your chance to discover that. I want you to discover this. And then see what happened from there. You always lived in Brixton. Yeah, most of my life was in Brixton. I used to love just walking in this place because I, I didn't want to walk on the main road. Mm. Because I was so full of this, of this. Watching this many times. He's making us, he's moving all the time, but it's not actually going anywhere. It's going from just the same hand and to something else. Where are you going? Nowhere at all. But you have the sensation you're going somewhere. This is the nature of the ego When you come to that recognition, it is not a creative discovery. It alone is true. Everything else is relative here and there. Today you say, oh, I'm so wonderful. Oh, so tomorrow. Yeah, this voice is not true. Today, like, no, whoa. I got up this morning and it's just like, Everything is just so peaceful. Yes, it's okay. It's good, peaceful. But don't hold on to that as an assessment of who you are. All states come and go in the presence of that which does not come and go. This is a rare pointing. Everyone is has this sense of presence. You know you exist. You just know it. But as soon as the sense of presence manifests, then comes the, the sense of being personal and different and unique. And the soul enjoys this kind of uniqueness. But earlier than that is just the pure sense of presence, which your guidance brings you to the sense of presence. But the sense of presence itself issues out of something that is unnameable. We can call it God or the Supreme Awareness, the unspeakable. And that is true. And that is not the object of attention. You cannot see it. It is beyond the, the capacity of the senses to grasp it. The senses are seen. The senses and their functions are seen from the place of presence. 
And at some point, and maybe not ready for this, the presence itself is seen. All place, upper place, morning, evening, going, coming, Eva smile, going, no, coming, no. <laughs> <laughs> To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Moody, happy birthday to you. Happy rebirthday to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. the bubbles of, of phenomena just coming and you can watch somehow even the, the subtle taste of watching and the whole universe slows down into that into that space and your mind is not divided at all you're within your own intimacy, your own intimate being. Amen. Mm -hmm.
if you have surrendered yourself uh, to the supreme existence, then you are not to take uh, excessive care of yourself anymore. Otherwise, you are not really surrendered. Either this thing about surrendering is a joke, it's just in the mind, and we are playing games, or it's true. You surrender, you surrender. You know, you can't be surrendering and still waiting to see how it works if it doesn't work. Huh? <laughs> you, if you surrender, you surrender. Then these thoughts cannot have a landing place. If they come, you say, "Look, to take it up with the boss." Okay. I don't deal with it anymore. It's not my business anymore. I've handed myself in. Yeah, so that's the that's the crux of it exactly. Is is to really examine my surrender and to strengthen it's that. It's not yes, it's not Do like I'm um, saying sit on your hands, you know. You live life, but there are times when you feel that uh, something feels like a crisis, you cannot, you know, or you're giving so much attention to the mind or something. Then uh, you know, you because if you are looking at little things too much, little things too much, in the end you're leaking so much power looking at little things. Uh, leave them alone, you know, it's nothing. Because if you look at little things and you start to talk to people about little things. Hmm? So both the little things and the big things are, are no things. Actually. It's just they are grown because of your interest or you your fascination, your belief makes them look like something. But to others they are nothing. Your big somethings is nothing for someone else, you see. And this is a, a, already a clue that perhaps it's not as truthful as it appears in my own mind even. Stop thinking and be. And then you come into the, the wealth of existence, the beauty and the power, the joy. Huh?
Namaste, welcome everyone to Satsang uh, today. Beautiful Rishikesh. So as far back as we have any records, people have been traveling to places like Rishikesh, gathering in communities like we are today to find that which is timeless or eternal within ourselves. These beings are no longer embodied in this way now. They spend their time. And now it is our turn. This is our season, our chance. Where did we begin? Who are we? What is possible with a life? No one is just merely being asked only to believe or to create or to imagine, but to discover by direct experience that which is eternal within ourselves. You are life. Hear me in your heart, and you find your freedom. Welcome everyone, everyone to this silent retreat here in Zimar. Thank you for the air that I can very much blessed that this time together that we will spend together will be so um, so much what is needed for each and everyone who comes with a genuine urge. Uh, for freedom. You must have heard me before say that um, it is totally possible to wake up into the truth of what you are. Why it is experienced to be difficult? Uh, in itself it is not difficult, it simply is. What appears to be difficult is that the attachments we have to the old, for the illusory and the transient, then resistance will come. You will notice that feeling of resistance, and a choice subtly will be made in you to stay with the resistance or to transcend it. That power you have. Saint Kabir, who is so widely loved all over the world, actually, he said one time, like Maya, meaning the the one who creates all these delusions yeah, that now live in our mind so much. He says, Maya, Maya, you are great. You are the great deceiver. You are the greatest deceiver, because no one recognizes you. No one recognizes you. You have captured everyone in the net of, of Maya, you see, and nobody recognizes you. But I know you. You are what again? Remind me. 
I think, I'm body mind. If I am not thinking, I'm nothing. You choose. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. I need a Spanish. 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 <laughs> That's spinach. <laughs> um, but I had a little confusion a few weeks ago. I heard Papa G say that all experience is of the mind. Mm. And that seemed like a bummer. Mm. And then... The Doberman has broken through the fence and now he's coming at them. Salvating. <sighs> no? At the last moment, the last bit of string snaps. And all of the screws, including the, the captured one, up in the tree. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> I've never seen you so attentive before. I mean, my God. I mean, Okay, today we call this Walt Disney Satsang. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody up in the canopy. Can there be any squirrel as happy as this one? As the freed one? You know something? I forgot what you were talking about. <laughs> I've looked at the fly, even here, sometimes coming here. He once sat on my handkerchief there like this, so he's on white, so I can see him very, very clearly. No? And I saw him sort of like... And uh, behind enough. I said, but this guy is very clean. <laughs> he's cleaner than a lot of people. Okay, he lives on poo. It's also a nature of ego. If the fly could have gone and beyond the sugar, why go to sugar when you got all this stuff? Why go to some place that's just so beautiful as yourself and just just chill and just be happy? You know? When I can just make all this mess and just make myself miserable and as many people as I love miserable also and make my enemies happy and you know, why why not it's the nature of the ego can you bear your own disappearances again Maya Maya you are the greatest deceiver because nobody knows you, nobody recognizes you, but I know you. Very good. <laughs> I'm fed up of uh, myself, not the real self, the other self. And <laughs> And, uh, you know, I two episodes that really scared me. One was years ago when I finished writing my first book, and I was quite pleased with it, and I was meditating, and suddenly I was on the sofa and I heard this voice, vicious, the most vicious, nasty voice saying, it's a piece of shit, that <laughs> book. Uh, what was that, a piece of shit, the book, the or book. you? My work. Huh? My work. I, Your work? My work, my book. Okay. <laughs> and it uh, made me jump from the sofa. And then uh, this summer... Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Why is he laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> Many people know that voice. <laughs> it's the same guy. Anyway, so I made it. <laughs> now I got a stitch now. <laughs> Okay, no more of that, okay? <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you have a plant and you surround this plant with a lot of negative energy, mm. suppose people, there were four people around this plant saying, you know, we don't want you here. You know, we don't want you here. You feed it every day, put in the sunshine, but we don't want you here. We don't love you, we don't care for you, you shouldn't be here, it will die. If a plant that you send a lot of love to it, a lot of love to it, it will also grow in, in strength. It's the same with people, uh, for the most part, if you don't put love towards them. That is the, that's the nutrition of life, is love and, uh, you know, and uh, faith in God, trust, openness, all this is like food for human spirit. That's why it's good that you pray, you bless others. You bless also your power, you empower your spirit, because you have a good intention, good vibration. You turn that vibration, like you turn the vibration of goodness towards everybody. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Then it raises up your power also, because you bless, you're sending goodwill towards all beings, you not want to keep it from. Yeah? That makes you selfish. To keep want to take makes you selfish. To give makes you, you see, rich. One who gives is rich. The one who keeps is poor. <laughs> Samachino da Samariras Manchesa Jai Hari Ram Manchesa Jai Hari Ram Manchesa Jai Hari Ram Samachino da Samariras Samachino da when I was a child at school, I used to have this, this, this kind of fantasy. I used to draw these pictures of um, living in a in a hut on top of a mountain, with lots of different huts of all the people I love. We may all be living on the mountain, very happy. It's a very silly thing. This is a little picture, uh, oh, oh. like, uh, but uh, that was not from school. This is uh, maybe, uh, maybe, and uh, these little huts on top of the hill, and water, and uh, forest, and this. I come to life in you. I come to life in you. I come to life in you. I come to.
It's provided for us and uh, to continue the sharing of satsang with, with the beings from all over the world here, that this place will become a happy place, a blessed place, a holy place, and that we, we get on with our neighbours. We, we are an asset to this country, to these people, and that we continue to, to breathe and live in the Holy Spirit uh, for all time. So be it. Om Shanti Shanti. All for one and one for all. Yes. Oti Chiki. Yes. Sahajavali Ki. Yes. Ramana Ki. Yes. Oti Ki. Yes. Udaki. Yes. I come to life in you. I come to life in you. I come to life in you. Shiva, Shiva. I want to completely break through these dark clouds of arrogance and pride now, for I can feel the loving warmth of the sun behind them. You are the sun behind them. <laughs> there is something inside me that is very tired. Yeah, I think most human beings are tired. They're tired of acting, tired of maneuvering my way through life. Yes, yes. That is one of the greatest unburdening. When you don't have to be anything apart from yourself anymore. Let me tell you something. Jack is the king of creation. You're gonna see me drop my egg now. Yeah. You can't remember the details of yesterday. What you cannot forget is the love. It's the love that carries through. But as you're coming back into your spiritual consciousness, then what is what is the life in everything is the love. And that is what is the continuity. The one who knows God can talk with any class of men. Because it goes to the essence, you know. Not to the kind of complexities, just to the essence, show them the essence. Because always we're looking for the essence. If you're not searching for the essence, you're creating some complexity. You see? Yeah. My intention is to come here. And I have, before coming here, I have already in my heart, whatever happen, glory to God, whatever happen, eh, is going to be good. I break my leg, got into a fight, because there's nothing here to see where bad is. It's painful, it hurts, but always something good is coming out. That's the nature of the universal consciousness. Whatever form it takes is always to 
elevate and to evolve into higher states. It's the mind that has some disagreement. Uh, you know, yeah, but it didn't go the way that I want, and like that, you know. I swat anybody. Yeah. Then, uh, oh, not for you, lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, do you want some over there too? Yes. <laughs> oh, let me come up a little bit. Simple ways like this, the power of God just. Oh, here it comes. In simple ways like this, actually, you know, we are very, very. We behave sometimes very much like uh, grace only has to come in this way and in church and so on. But this very day is this expression of grace also, and full grace, full grace, grace in your face. Grace in your face. Amen. God bless. Hallelujah, amen. Beloved one, a silent song here with you. This heart belongs, tears of joy I brought these eyes to see the heart that sings with yours is the heart that's free, beloved one. Beloved one, Today, why not now? Let it all fall away. The one who came to you is so long gone, and all that remains is just a song of love. We're here in your grace. Beloved one, never born, never died, always here in this heart of mine. Everything that's once been seeking, every moment. Silence is speaking, beloved one. Oh, here in your grace, yeah, yeah, beloved one. Beloved one, beloved one.
over so many years of having the opportunity of sharing satsang around the world, we have covered so many things, all kinds of situations that come for the human life. We've come to that. And so, by the grace of God, uh, I have found to my great joy that, uh, and so should you, that as time goes and the understanding matures within you, things become simpler. Also, I'm very happy that we have reached a place where my paintings can be very simple. In fact, I would broaden that. As we are growing older, we should be becoming more empty, and more simple, and more quiet. As we listen, and the words, what the words are pointing to, find their place inside your heart, you come to see, ha, ah, like this. Forget about anything, everything. Hmm? I stand up for you. <laughs> I see. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> 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 When you came into existence, the first thing you felt, and now I'm here, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've never seen anybody concentrate like that. <laughs> Om Namah Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya
This is freedom itself. Esto es la liberación en sí misma. Who chooses it here? That alone is tremendous. Thousands of beings have longed to to have this darshan, to have this experience. Miles de seres han deseado y han anhelado tener este darshan, esta experiencia. I am very happy. Estoy muy feliz. For sharing with you. De compartir esto con vosotros. And for your recognition. Y por vuestro reconocimiento. Yes. That is very amazing. Leave these things for a moment. You can get them back. I don't want and, and come in. Come to that place which is unoccupied, meaning that it's zero. Empty. Come to the emptiness. Even my ideas about you know, enlightenment and, you know, and past and you know, all my desires and so on for the future, and all, whatever. I leave everything, not leave everything, everything including my self-image, any self-image. So what is here now, then? Is there any feeling of unhappiness, is there? No. Yeah? Or of pressure? No. A pressure to become something or to justify your existence in some way? This that is, whatever it is, does it have any opinion about anything? No. No. Is it afraid? No. No. Can it die? I don't know. It's like I cannot report anything about me. Yes. You being what? The space. Yes. Does death or life relate to or pertain to this? Does it have anything? Does it have a meaning here? No, it doesn't have a meaning. That's right. This state, whatever it is, is it, is it a strange discovery? Is it a disappointing discovery for you? No. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Can it fade? No. No. Can it can it be lost? No. If I say to you, have you is this real for you or is it just uh, intellectual? It's very real. Yes. Uh, 
And if it is real, it is you. And I want to tell you that the entire field of the Sangha here in Sahaja has already shifted. It's like what happened first when the invitation to freedom came. Many false things dropped away and the, the field just rose. Then I spoke about the putting things in the basket of God. More people come. Now this, this we call commitment to uh, self-realization, commitment to truth, and this very simple exercise. Put your hand up if you are on board for this one now. Thank you. You know, I have a room of Sangha here. Their hands are up also. Very good. So now uh, I am going to give you a little countdown in a moment. And only thing now is just to sit again and in the space of being, which is very accessible right now. If you don't go upstairs into the attic, you will find that you are a nicely very open and present. And I say, stay like this. Stay only being. Just be. Nobody is telling you, just be. Because even your own mind won't let you be. Okay. So you are going to sit and uh, just be very present. And be aware that when the mind stuff come, don't try to change how it is. Just stand apart as the detached uh, weakness of it. And more than that, that most of your power will remain only self-aware, as just being. Last bench there, next to the tree. Yes. Every day you go there. In the last, the last point, you sit there okay. and give twenty minutes of this seeing. Okay. You don't deviate from that. Okay. And I will check you. Okay. Anybody else want to do this? Yes. You want to do it? Yes. Yes. You want to do it also? You sit by yourself somewhere. Okay. I can't remember. I remember most of you, but I cannot. Uh, gonna go. You have this commitment because you have to have this commitment. That you sit, and you apply, because I have not asked you. Remember seven things. I say what you must do. You sit, and don't identify with anything. You are just only employed to observe with detachment. And hold on to your your position as observing this, but don't hold any shape to yourself. Let me see who is doing again. Stay only in that empty space. <laughs> Unmixed. <laughs> Refuse the pull of the mind. Each time the attention goes to mind, bring it back to emptiness. Don't fight. Not aware of just awareness.
to starve the mind of attention is to free the mind. finish or end or begin to abide here in this is to know and honor God Self Supreme. Blessing is that all are established in this here now and forever. <laughs>